Hello, and welcome to our Holy Week Midday Devotions. This week, all during Holy Week, we'll be having devotions in midday to talk about some of the things that happened during the last week of Jesus' life leading up to his crucifixion and then obviously the resurrection. So today, I'm going to be the one sharing. I'm David Shelton. I'm the executive pastor at Clear Branch, and I'm so thankful for this opportunity just to have a few moments with you today. Today, I'm going to be sharing a story out of Luke's gospel. It's taken from Luke chapter 20, verses 1 through 8. So here are the words of the gospel. One day, as Jesus was teaching the people in the temple and preaching the gospel, the chief priests and the scribes and the elders came and said to him, Tell us by what authority you do these things, or who is it that gave you this authority? He answered them, I also will ask you a question. Now tell me, was the baptism of John from heaven or from man? And they discussed it with one another, saying, If we say from heaven, he will say, Why did you not believe him? And if we say from man, all the people will stone us to death, for they are convinced that John was a prophet. So they answered that they did not know where it came from. And Jesus said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. On Monday or Tuesday of Holy Week, it was right after Jesus had entered Jerusalem in his triumphal entry on Sunday, Jesus was teaching in the temple. And the chief priest and the, the leaders of the people really weren't too pleased with, with Jesus' ministry throughout, mainly because he was saying things that kind of ran counter to what the teachings of these chief priests and these other religious leaders had been, and certainly of the example that they had been setting. And so now Jesus has this big triumphant entry into Jerusalem. People are praising him and cheering him on, and that certainly doesn't make things any better in the minds of the chief priests and those religious leaders. So it's not just that even. He had also, as he entered Jerusalem, gone to the temple, and he had cast out all of the people who were selling animals for sacrifice there in the temple. You see, Jesus was upsetting the status quo. That didn't sit very well with these leaders. They, they simply didn't like the way that things were going. Jesus was upsetting their authority. So the verses just prior to this passage that I read, they actually tell about how these chief priests, how these leaders had been trying to scheme against Jesus, how they had been trying to figure out a way that they could actually destroy him. But because the people really loved what Jesus had to say and really loved the teachings that he gave, they were hanging on his every word. And so these chief priests, these leaders, these scribes, these Pharisees, they were really upset with Jesus and they were doing everything they could think of to try to discredit him. And so while Jesus is teaching in the temple this day, they think, well, maybe we can, maybe we can just discredit his authority. You see, they were the religious leaders of that day. So they figured if we ask him where he got his authority, he certainly didn't get, didn't get it from us. So maybe there's a way to get him. So they go to him and they ask and they say, Jesus, can you answer a question for us? By what authority do you teach these things that you teach? Well, Jesus understood that they were scheming against him. Jesus knew what was going on. And Jesus did what Jesus does. Jesus confounded them. He answered their question with a question. He said, I tell you what, I'll answer your question if you'll answer mine first. John the Baptist's baptism, the baptism that John the Baptist had out in the River Jordan, out in the wilderness, was that something from heaven? Or was that just something from man? Well, right away, these leaders knew that Jesus had them. You see, if they had said that John's baptism was from heaven, then Jesus would simply say, well, then why didn't you follow him? Why didn't you believe him? And then if they said, well, this was actually just a baptism of man, they knew that the people would turn against them, maybe even stone them because they believed John to be a prophet from God. And so their only, their only recourse was to say, 
Well, Jesus, we don't know the answer to your question. And so Jesus simply says, well, if you won't answer my question, I won't answer yours. So Jesus was doing what Jesus did. He was confounding those who were religious and he was drawing people to him who just realized the truth of what he was saying. So this story is like many other stories in the gospels, but, but this one has a special lesson that I want us to, to hang on to today. You see, it's not just about Jesus outsmarting these religious leaders. You see, Jesus wouldn't enlighten them with the answer to their question about his authority because they were already blind to the enlightening that they already had in front of them. You see, these people, they knew the prophecies. They knew the prophecies that had pointed towards John the Baptist. They knew the prophecies that pointed towards Jesus, but they were blind to them because of their own self-importance. They were blind to them because it would get in their way. It would mess up their self-interest. So here's the deal. Here's the question for us today. How often do we pray for Jesus to enlighten us, to bless us, to show us the way? But we blind ourselves to the guidance and to the light that he's already provided because we're so caught up, so consumed in our own self-importance. As we continue through this Holy Week, as we're approaching the crucifixion, my prayer for us today is that we would crucify our own self-importance that gets in our way, that blinds us to the truth and the light of the fullness of Jesus within our own lives. That's my prayer for us today. May God open our eyes to the Savior and to his path before us. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you join us each week as we go through this Holy Week that maybe we can all get a little bit more light this week as we go through the week of Jesus' passion. May God bless you this week. May God bless us all as we seek his light in our lives. Amen.